Hi friends, this is Abhishek Agrawal here and in this particular tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a knurling profile over this cylindrical surface. In my last video, we have covered with the solid body of Tommy Bar and now we are going to proceed with the knurling operation. So to, to proceed with the knurling operation, first of all, we will have to uh, change our uh, workbench that is we have to go to different workbench that is wireframe and software design which is in mechanical design and wireframe and software design. So quickly select this particular uh, workbench. What we're gonna do here is that first of all we're gonna make um, a helix profile over this cylindrical surface, and uh, after that we'll use a slot command uh, to make a cut over this surface, and then we'll use a circular pattern command to make the same cut over the entire surface. So first of all uh, select select a YZ plane, and um, first of all we need to uh, show our planes so we can go you can do it from here uh, show all planes so here we have here we are select a yz plane go to sketch now first of all we need to project this particular surface over the yz plane so go to 3d project element and uh, okay um, we need uh, we'll be needing a starting point for the helix so we can choose this particular point uh, to start a helix curve so to make a helix curve let's quickly exit from the sketch and go to insert command wireframe helix and choose this particular st starting point and uh, to choose an axis uh, select this particular axis uh, as we can see uh, here the height of knurling operation knurling profile is 100 so select the height of curve as 100 and uh, the pitch uh, while doing a knurling operation uh, the pitch should be more than double of height uh, so it should be more than 200 but as you can see that the width of a cylindrical surface is very uh, very less as compared to its height so we have to uh, take a pitch of comparatively high length so that it will avoid the twisting bend uh, twist bending of a curve so we'll select a pitch uh, more than uh, more than double that is uh, select 280 or rather 350 so that we won't face any twisting problem while creating a slot so you know it seems okay yeah so here we compare it with the helix curve as you can see here what we need to do we need to extrapolate this curve a bit so we can do it by going into operation extrapolate command um, we'll choose the starting boundary as this one no need to worry about and our extra bullet curve as this one and uh, yeah let's take a length of 15 mm you want to extend keep the continuity along the curvature like this and okay so here we are with the extra helix curve what we need we need the same exact curve uh, which is symmetric about the yz plane so we can do it by using a symmetry command which is an operation symmetry and uh, yes select this particular element over here and select a reference axis as yz plane and okay so here we are uh, So here we are completed with the um, symmetric helix curve. Now what we need, we need to go back to our uh, part design workbench and we'll make a profile to give a, uh, to give a slot to this particular surface. So go back to mechanical design, part design, yeah. Uh, one more thing we just left, uh, we need to create two planes which is normal to this curve at these starting points. So we can do it by select um, plane definition, select the curve, uh, select the particular point and OK. Same thing we, know we need to do over here, here also. So select the plane definition, select the curve, select the starting point and yes, here we are. Completed with the uh, plane creation. So select this particular plane where we'll draw a profile of uh, our cut which we want to give it to um, as an early operation 
what you can do here uh, to avoid any creation you can hide this plane to or rather um, you can hide one plane so that uh, it will be easier for you to work on so this is a particular plane too we will hide a plane one first so hide it and we can carry on our work on plane two so here uh, draw one profile like this uh, to follow the knurling operation you can also follow my video um, which is specially uh, based on knurling operation where I have explained each and everything in detail uh, I'll, I'll give a link of that video in below comments so that you can easily navigate through this let's select uh, angle as 80 select the angle between these two lines as a 45 what I am trying to do here is to um, follow ISO patterns which is uh, recommended for the knurling operation so you don't need to worry about the standards and all uh, I'll be following every standards and the next thing is we need to uh, make coins at that point along with that line so yes here we are and next thing is we have to define the depth of cut so our depth of cut would be uh, say 9.5 so our cut would be 0 0.5 inside the surface as the total uh, total width of outer surface from the uh, from the axis is 10 so the depth of cut would be 0 0.5 here we are. so yes here we are completed with the profile quickly exit from the sketch quickly go to slot command uh, select the center curve what we need to do here is to uh, follow pulling direction which will be our axis of this cylinder and yes okay so here we are completed with our first first curve now what we need we need the same curve over the entire surface for that we'll use a circular pattern command over here and uh, select parameters as complete crown instance will make at 20 and the reference selection is uh, our uh, circular body and okay so yes uh, we got the same cuts over entire surface uh, now what we need to do we need to do the same thing with the plane one so uh, now we'll hide the plane two and we'll carry on with the plane one so yes again select this particular plane uh, again make a same profile like this can make this particular line and this point coincide angle between these two line is 80 between this line and this line is uh, 40 and so and the distance between depth of cut from this axis would be 9.5 so yes here we are completed with the figure quickly exit from the sketch select the slot command over here select the profile uh, select the center curve as this one again keep the profile controls as pulling direction which would be this axis and uh, okay so here we are uh, we got this particular cut over here now we, we need the same cuts over the entire surface so we'll use a circular pattern uh, we'll keep it as complete crown and our reference selection would be this 
entire area and our current solid would be slot 2 so yes here we are yes we completed with the uh, second cuts second cut also so yes we completed with the knurling profile also as you can see here uh, so this is for this particular video we have completed with the uh, all the part designing of the screw jack assembly from next little onwards we'll start with the assembly of a screw jack so till then keep watching my video if you have any query clarification or any doubt you can uh, comment below and if you have any CAD related project or any complex assembly which you want me to do you can write to me at abhishek.832 at the rate of gmail.com if you find my video worth please subscribe it so that i can make more and more videos to uh, learn katya v5 till then thank you very much